Hey, what's going on guys? So whether you're an investor in Virgin Galactic stock or you're just a fan of space exploration in general, today's news was huge. Richard Branson and his team over at Virgin Galactic completed the first successful commercial flight into suborbital space. And for it to technically be considered outer space, they had to fly 50 miles above the Earth's atmosphere, which they did, and then they landed safely back in New Mexico to tell about it. Now, this is great news. I mean, we didn't think we'd see this in our lifetimes. People flying commercially around outer space. I mean, that's the first step. I mean, next step is going to be flights to Mars. So all that sci-fi stuff that sounded like fantasy five, ten years ago is taking place right before our very eyes. The crowd, the crowd cheering behind me. This is that historic moment that Richard Branson and his team at Virgin Galactic have been waiting for for nearly two decades. And we have released, Brian, we have released the rocket engine has ignited. This is the moment that Branson and his team have been waiting for. Oh, Brian, I got to pause. I gotta take this in. Uh, this is really an incredible moment here. Uh, we all took it in. Uh, in this hour long journey and a few minutes of weightlessness, uh, the journey, the mission to get here was decades in the making. Not only did Branson make this happen, but he in spectacular fashion brought all of us along with him and making sure we could see and hear from him while it was happening. Extraordinary or what? I mean, Branson's flight making him the first billionaire to actually travel into suborbital space. Uh, Branson's goal to make commercial space flights like this one available to the public. Now, what this news means for the stock, I think it's going to be huge because since it IPO'd back in October of 2019, it's up 373% in less than two years. And that's without any successful flights around space. Over the last year, it's up 155%. Over the last three months, almost 71%. And in the last month alone, it's up 38%. And if we take a look here back on June 24th to June 25th, it spiked about 15 bucks just on the FAA approval to fly com um, passengers commercially around space. So you can only imagine what the actual first successful flight is going to do to the stock. So tomorrow morning, Monday morning, bright and early, I expect this stock to pop and really take off even higher. Something else I expect? You to smash that like and subscribe button. And if you had any questions or comments, drop those down below. That way I can keep bringing you quality financial content related to investing. And just recently I've added basketball content in the YouTube shorts section of my page. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. So with everything I just mentioned about Virgin Galactic, the stock price, how it's performed, this is the perfect time to become an investor into space because nine days from now, Jeff Bezos is going to launch his own commercial flight into space on July 20th. Oh, wait, the fun uh, on the commercial space side of things is just beginning, Frederica, because in just nine days, uh, Jeff Bezos is going to attempt to fly into space on his suborbital spacecraft, the new Shepard spacecraft. And, you know, there's been so much made of this rivalry between Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson. But moments ago, Jeff Bezos just posted on Instagram, Richard Branson and crew, congratulations on the flight. Can't wait to join the club. So, so the space wars are just beginning to heat up. And Elon Musk is not going to be left out. So... You got Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk, three billionaires, all competing for space supremacy, space dominance, space exploration, whatever you want to call it. And it's just getting started. So this is pretty much an ideal time to become an investor into space stocks.